We're going to do a full truck wrap today. We're going to cover the entire vehicle. Now, one of the things you got to pay attention to is the environment. It needs to be between 60 and 95 degrees. So if it's wintertime, you need to find an indoor place. If it's summertime, you want to make sure you got a place that's not in direct sunlight. And once you have those conditions, you want to make sure you wash your truck really well, your vehicle, get all the edges and nooks and crannies clean. Then you're going to go back with a wax and grease remover and remove all the wax off of that truck. You know, one of the important things to the application process is the preparation of your vehicle. So spend a little extra time and do a thorough job of washing and cleaning the vehicle. Then you're ready to apply the Mossy Oak graphics to your truck. Well, now that you have your truck prepped and ready to go, you're ready to put the Mossy Oak graphics kit on. Now, the unique thing about Mossy Oak graphics is we're the only company that pre-cuts a kit for a vehicle application like this. So you get a piece for the side, a piece for the hood, piece for the tailgate, and piece for all the A, B, and C pillars, and then the roof line. So you identify your pieces, and you roll them out on the side and tape them on. Now the side piece comes as a whole piece, the length of the truck. Now just to make it a little bit easier, what we've done is we've laid the side piece all the way down the side of the truck, and we've identified the gap between the cab and the bed of the truck, and we've cut the material there. Now we're going to hinge this with masking tape across the top and position these pieces. Now once we've got those in position, we're going to go ahead and make a hinge and we're going to fold that piece back, remove the paper backing off of it, cut it off, and then start our application process on the side of the truck. What we want to do here is we're going to hinge it. You can see the masking tape is the hinge. You reinforce it with three or four pieces of masking tape. Pull that piece back, pull the backing loose, and then just trim it. This is a real good time to, I mean, you really need to have a buddy with you. It works really well when you've got a friend to help you out. So once you have the backing pulled off and trimmed, then you just bring the hinge back around into position and you're ready to put the vinyl on the side of the truck. You can begin with your squeegee on the high spot and begin to attach the vinyl. If you have issues with wrinkles or something, just pull it loose again and start over. And once you have that side started, you just come around to the other side, pull that piece off, and go ahead and attach that side as well. Now once you've got the vinyl completely loose from the backing, you basically want to start somewhere in the middle and work your way to the bottom and the top of the rear of the truck. And you can see they're taking long squeegee strokes and applying that material evenly across the center of the rear quarter panel of that truck. And remember, you can always lift it up to remove any wrinkles that may start as you're doing this. So, you know, just take it as it comes and you're not, you're not in any big rush to get it on there, but you just want to take your time and remove the wrinkles as you go. You know, now that you've got all the vinyl laid on with your squeegee, just take your knife and just follow that radius all the way around. And cut that piece of material out so that you can then reach underneath it with your hand. And there's a fender flare on this truck, so what you're doing is you're you're unsticking the material basically from the fender flare and then working that material down to the edge of your fender flare with your squeegee. And once this is completed, then you can continue on over the fender flare. But what you want to achieve is you want to achieve that material in that crease of that fender flare without having to heat it or stretch it at all. One of the things you want to make sure that you pay careful attention to is in those grooves and those areas like between the fender flare and the body of the truck. Those areas you need to make sure that you get your squeegee in there and push that good and tight. So we're working down the front side of the fender flare and as we're coming down that way we're putting a little heat on the material to work with it. You know, one of the unique things about the cast vinyl system, which is the only one of its kind in the outdoor industry, is the heat that you can apply to it and it creates 
a softer, more conformable material for working around contours like the body of a truck. And once you get past the bed and you're moved up to the cab of the truck, one of the things that you have to deal with are the door handles. Some door handles protrude out from the body of the truck. Some are more flush. This particular truck has a, a door handle that, that protrudes out away from the uh, body of the truck. So what we'll do is we'll just cut the backing off like we did on the bed of the truck. And then we're going to lay this piece back over the door handle and just mark it. We'll take a pin and we'll mark the center of the door handle on there. Once we've put the piece into position, take your finger and find the top and the center of the door handle. And then just make a mark starting from one end to the other. And then once we make this cut, then we'll lay the material back over there and it'll, it'll supply us an opening for the door handle to, to come through. So now we'll just take the other side and do the same thing with it. We'll remove the backing and then just pull the vinyl loose from the side of the truck. Straighten it all back out. So now we've got our other side in position. We're going to mark the other door handles. So now we're just going to make long squeegee strokes down the center of the truck to attach the vinyl. We'll actually attach the vinyl in the center of the door underneath the door handles and then we'll fold the top part down to make our cuts for the door handles and then we'll fold it back up. Pull it loose from the top once we've got the center secured to where it won't move and now we're going to make our cut where we had marked for our door handles. And You basically make like a Y cut at the end so that, that material will open up and allow the door handle to come through. And what we're doing is we're working with heat and the squeegee. You can work the squeegee at different angles to kind of push the material the direction you want it to go. So if it begins to bunch up, you can kind of start pushing it in the direction away from where the, it's wanting to gather. Let it cool down a little bit so the material's not, not so soft, and then you can come back and trim around that. Then you can take a sharp X-Acto knife or cutting blade and just carefully trim around that. Angling in, you can keep the point off of the paint job. You can use your squeegee back and forth like that to push that material down into that groove. So as you come down the side of the truck, you'll keep using pressure downward on the material, working your squeegee, and just use light pressure across that top to secure the vinyl. So you can take your fingers, you can take a squeegee, you start to work these high ridges and what he's going to do is he's going to start working his way towards the edge. And then if there's a, a wrinkle or something that he's encountered that he can't get rid of, he'll actually back it up, apply some heat and go back again with it. A little bit of pressure here on the vinyl will help straighten out some of the wrinkles there and then with the squeegee he'll straighten out the rest of them. So it's just really a technique of, of some pressure, pulling on the vinyl, working with your squeegee, and then on, some, on sharp contours like this is applying some heat with the heat gun to get that material to do what you want. So by pulling and stretching it, you're creating the shape of the fender flare with that vinyl. Now we've got the, uh, the fender flare all done. We're gonna trim it out flush with the edge of the fender flare. You just basically lay your, your utility knife flush with the edge of the uh, fender flare and just follow it around the radius of the fender flare. And just follow that radius all the way around. Now we're, we've worked our way past the front wheel well and we're at the, up towards the headlight of the front of the truck. And what you want to do here is just pull that material back to where it's, you got a nice smooth line where it's on the vehicle. Then you want to put a little heat on it. It gives it a little bit of softness to it where you can stretch it just a little bit. 
And then you just work that down over the, the front of the vehicle. And what you'll do is, as you, you find yourself with a few wrinkles, you'll pull it from top and bottom and create a nice, taunt, wrinkle-free application right above the headlight there on that curve. The unique thing about cast vinyl is the way you can work with it and the way you can heat it up a little bit and pull it and stretch it and get it to conform around curves like that. With other types of products, that is not a feature that you can do. It won't, it won't conform to those type of curves like that. You're basically stuck just putting it down and making cuts in it and letting it overlap itself. So we've cut around the headlight now and you just come back with your squeegee and just set that edge all the way around that headlight on the front of that quarter panel. You'll also come along and trim it off with the, the, the top edge also. And that'll pretty well complete the front and the whole side of the vehicle there. Well, now we're ready for the hood. And remember, all the pieces are pre-cut. So you take your hood and you hinge it also in the center. You pull your backing loose, trim it off, and then you're ready to install the right side of your hood. You trim the paper backing off. You're ready to fold the piece with the exposed adhesive over onto the hood. And remember, this, this cast vinyl is repositionable. So as you're laying this down, just kind of pick it up and shake it. And you can kind of lay it out smoothly. If it takes you four or five times to create that smooth effect, just pick it up at the corners and shake it. Then you start on the high spot in the center of the hood and work your way from the center to the outside. And you can see periodically you'll pick up the material and lay it back down, pulling it slightly to create a, a wrinkle-free application. The other thing you can do is come in with heat and that will eliminate some of those wrinkles and that will allow that material to kind of help straighten itself out. Now once that material is warmed up, You'll see he'll come back in with a squeegee and create a nice wrinkle-free application. So now that we've got the hood squeegeed down, we're going to come around and trim that out. So again, you just lay your straight edge of your knife right along the edge of the, the hood and trim around it. Now one of the things you can do is trim on the far side of the hood against the fender and that gives you about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch of material to then go ahead and wrap that edge with. It makes a really nice look. When you come around to the front of the hood, open the hood up, and then just fold it underneath. So you can always just pull the vinyl back off of the grill, give yourself about a half inch extra, and then go ahead and take your thumbs, work really well for just folding that underneath and you can create a nice, nice camouflage edge to the, to the hood there. Yeah, then you can, you can heat that material up, which softens it, and then it bonds really well to that edge. The trimming we're going to do will be with a straight edge knife, and you'll trim the bottom edge and the sides with your razor knife. Then you can take a sharp X-Acto knife and just carefully trim around that plastic badge. There you have it. He's working with the heat around the emblem. And you can see the heat will reduce the wrinkles. So you can work that squeegee on an angle left to right as well to push that material down into that 
groove. And once that backing is pulled free, then you can come back and apply your piece for the roof onto the truck and put it into position. And you can see it fits perfectly on the body line of that vehicle. Once you get the product on and go back over that edge with your squeegee with some firm pressure. Now you just basically finish out the trim. Once again, just keep your knife edge flush with the paint. Maintenance on this product is no maintenance at all. Once it's applied, you're ready to go out in the field. Well, we're finished with our complete truck wrap. Doesn't this look awesome? I mean, if you don't like this, something's wrong with you. This product is so amazing. It is so easy to install with a few simple techniques anyone can apply this graphic. One of the things that's so wonderful about it is when it comes to maintenance, you don't have to do anything to it. Just treat it like your normal truck. Just take it to the car wash and go on. We have a lot of products on our website. Great, great ideas for accenting and personalizing your vehicle to, to wrapping shotguns, rifles. We've got boat kits, ATV kits, lots of different window graphics. So come visit our website and see what kind of products that we have that would, would fit well with the, the, the different applications that you might have for it. I want to thank you for joining us and I hope you enjoyed this production.